As an archipelago, the Philippine Islands needs an infrastructure project that will connect its people across the country. Aside from airports and seaports, which are vital for Philippines' connectivity, bridges are critical components of the nation's infrastructure, making it possible to ship commodities on a large scale at a lower cost, convenient and safe ways to transport residents and tourists, and to develop economic growth in the countryside. One of the core projects of the Marcos administration's Build Better More program is the country's bridge network. A testament to this administration's commitment, to continue the Build 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 project of the previous administration that aims to provide increased interconnectivity in the country. The success of the newly completed iconic toll bridge, which will be the third link from Cebu City mainland to Cordova in Mactan Island is a testament on how the infrastructure project will enhance connectivity in the metropolis. The 8.9-kilometer-long and 27-meter-wide bridge, is meant to serve as an alternate route to the Mactan Cebu International Airport, serving at least 50,000 vehicles daily. It is seen to not only ease traffic congestion in Metro Cebu but also spark socio-economic development in the province. The following are the interlink bridge projects of the Philippines that will enhance the country's connectivity stature across the archipelago. The Bata and Takavidi Interlink Bridge is a 32-kilometer and 150-meters four-lane cable stayed bridge, it will stretch 17 kilometers between Cavite and Corregidor Island, and more than 14 kilometers between Bata and Corregidor Island. The project will involve the construction of two cable-stayed navigation bridges, the North Channel Bridge, with a main span of 400 meters and the South Channel Bridge with a 900-meter main span, standing at a water depth of approximately 50 meters. It will connect Bata and in the north, and Cavite in the south, the two adjacent provinces of Metro Manila. This cable-stayed bridge speeds up travel from 5 hours to just 30 minutes between Bata and in Cavite and is expected to serve as many as 30,000 vehicles per day. The enormous savings in time has spelled convenience for those engaged in business and trade in the region and has ensured sustained economic growth for both provinces. As another intervention to address Metro Manila's persistent problem with traffic congestion, the Bata and Takavidi Interlink Bridge will introduce new expansion and economic growth opportunities outside of the metropolis. With investors now setting up industries, leading to the route of promising new land and marine viaduct highway to be built between regions of central Luzon and Calabarzon. The National Economic and Development Authority NEDA, approved the project with a budget of 175.7 billion pesos. It will be financed through multilateral funding from the Asian Development Bank. The implementation of the bridge project is projected to last for six years. As of September 2022, the Bata and Takavidi Interlink Bridge Design Works are halfway done with 55% completion according to the Department of Public Works and Highways. As the involved agency is now rushing to complete the detailed engineering design works of the Bata and Cavite Interlink Bridge. In the Western Visayas, another major bridge project that is already approved and set for construction is the Panay Guimaras to Negros Bridge Project. The Department of Public Works and Highways announced that it is looking to start the detailed engineering design activities for the PGN Island Bridges project by early 2023. The 32.5-kilometer Panay Guimaras Negros Island Bridges project is composed of two sea crossing bridges connecting Panay Island, Guimaras Island, and Negros Island in Region 6. This large and complex project requires comprehensive and high standard engineering works to be serviced by consultants who have extensive experience in long span bridges, which will help DPWH prepare for construction in an efficient and timely manner. The linkage between Guimaras Negros will comprise a sea crossing bridge with an approximate length of 13.1 km, road approaches with an approximate total length of 5.5 km, and road connectors of 0.87 km with a total length of 19.5 km. On the other hand, the linkage between Panay Guimaras or Section A will comprise a sea crossing bridge with an approximate length of 5 km and a road approach with an approximate total length of 8 km with a total length of 13 km. 
Early in 2022, the government of the Philippines obtained $56.6 million in loans from the government of the Republic of Korea for the engineering services of Panay Guimaras Negros Island bridges. A ceremonial exchange of signed loan agreements for engineering services of PGN Island Bridges was held last May 2022 between the Department of Finance and the Export-Import Bank of Korea. In line with the loan guidelines, the KEXIM Economic Development Cooperation Fund has issued last September a notice of concurrence on the shortlist of consultants for the detailed engineering design. Once the interlink bridges are constructed, the travel time of commuters and motorists and transport of goods from Panay to Negros Islands through ferries, Roro will be shortened from 3 to 4 hours to just less than 1 hour. The estimated contract cost of the project is 187.5 billion pesos. The project is expected to commence engineering services this year, and begin construction in 2025. The Davao to Samal Bridge is a 3.98-kilometer connector bridge link approved for construction between the island garden city of Samal and Davao City. In October last year, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. led the groundbreaking ceremony for a 23.4 billion pesos bridge project, which is projected to serve at least 25,000 vehicles daily by 2027. The project will enhance access to employment, education, and other social services in Samal Island, on top of providing ease in traveling, to and from the island city, and the province of Davao del Norte. 90% of the project will be funded using a loan from China, particularly undertaken by the China Road and Bridge Corporation. The approved final alignment for the Sea Crossing Bridge is a product of a comprehensive study by experts, and with important consideration to the environment and the necessary navigational safety management for seacraft and height restriction for air transport. After the groundbreaking, the DPWH would conduct a land survey and geotechnical investigation while proceeding with the detailed engineering design ahead of the construction. The biggest under construction bridge project in Mindanao is the Panguil Bay Bridge. The bridge will connect Tangub City in Misamis Occidental, and Tubod in Lanao del Norte via a 3-kilometer and 170-meter two-lane bridge. The megastructure project that began back in February 2020, is now more than 60% complete. The structure features a main bridge that measures 320 meters in length, and approach bridges and roads that measure more than 1.9 kilometers in total. It has a total project budget of 7.3 billion pesos, courtesy of a loan between the Philippines and the Korean Export-Import Bank. Bridging the geographical gap between Tubod and Tangub City and Ozama City area, Panguil Bay Bridge will reduce travel time between Lanao del Norte and Misamis Occidental from 2 hours to just 7 minutes. The construction blitz started following the full completion of all 54 board piling works to allow the start of construction of the 36 abutments and pier column, 32 copings, and commence on both ends at Tubod and Tangub City in the incremental launching method for the superstructure. While construction by about 336 manpower takes place round the clock to complete the project by December 2023. The Philippines government through the Department of Public Works and Highways has been continuously improving and expanding the capacities of the road networks through the building of inter-island bridges to meet the increasing demands of the Philippine economy.